Welcome everyone to a piece of college football history as we crown this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And this game is the culmination and the collision of two undefeated teams. Two teams that had defied the odds and come through this season unblemished. Now, each looking to take one final step and become a college football undefeated national champion. As we'll see the number three seed in this playoff, the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. Taking on a team from the ACC, the Clemson Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined as always by Kirk Herbstreit. And this is it. Two teams enter, one team leaves here as national champions. Let's get this going. Here we go with the kickoff. This is it, the ultimate game in college football, national championship at stake. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. So Louisiana's offense comes on the field for us today. Well, here we go. The energy in this building is absolutely amazing, Kirk. We are just 60 minutes away from crowning a new national champion in college football. And think about it as a player, this is really what you dream about. This is what you work towards, having an opportunity to get to the national championship. Both these teams have worked hard. Now they're here. Let's see how it plays out. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Big gain moves the ball across midfield to the 45. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Empty set now. Five wide. They look to throw it here on second down. Rifles this football to the left. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Louisiana. Made the defense look slow that time. In a national championship game, you can't do a better job than setting the tone immediately. Look, it's the biggest game of the year, so you've got to bring your best. And opening drive, the offense straight there just did that. That's how you get this thing started. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. So Clemson's offense makes their way onto the field for their first possession. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Ball handed off. And the runner brought down after just a short game. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Tigers. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When a quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. Point after, not right through. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. 
And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Here comes the Louisiana offense back on the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. You bring him down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid game. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain degree. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback changing the play now at the line. Looking to pass here on second down. Caught behind the line. It's Davis. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drive. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive gain. The Ragin' Cajuns are moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw it on first down. And he slings this pass over the middle. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Ragin' Cajuns. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake and go by you, or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. The extra point gives him a 14-7 lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Tries to get it to the running back. Finds his man. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. That's another positive gain here for this offense. And this defensive coordinator is going to have to make some kind of adjustments to get this quarterback out of his rhythm. It's the national championship, man. You've got to take chances and mix up your coverages because... And it's intercepted. Going the other way. Can they stop him? Steps out after a crucial takeaway. This could be a big turning point. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. First down here for this offense. He'll hand it off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. On third down, it's a handoff. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down mark. So they'll pass up the chip shot field goal attempt and go for it on fourth down. And the quarterback keeps it here. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. And the powerful comes the offense is back out there. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? play of the drive he looks right for a completion breaking free at the 35 oh and nothing but green grass ahead at the 10 now touchdown Clemson this quarterback on fire today and this national championship game is now dead even Kirk. we're gonna have a, a fun finish here yeah 
I'm, maybe I'm being hopeful, but this has the makings of an instant classic right now. The way these teams are matching each other at an elite level in the national championship, it's getting more advanced the further we go. I'm with you. Maybe it comes down to the wire. The turn starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Raging Cajuns offense back on the field. Remember, last time he went for a fourth down and got stopped, and the opponent went right down the field. Let's see if they can recover from that here. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 31. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. He's moving out of the pocket. Going to try to use his legs here. And he heads out of bounds after a nice pickup on the run. So after a competitive, fun first quarter, we are all even. Let's check out some of the stats from that first period. Here we go. First play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. Going to run it. It's Perry. Stop at the 43, but that's enough to make a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game for him work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. You make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback making adjustments now to what the defense is showing. Looking to pass this time. Quick throw to his receiver. Incomplete. They cannot connect on the deep ball. Well, it's an incompletion here. But I bet this secondary is going to play a little bit deeper just to make sure they don't get hit on any deep throws later in this game. Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. The receiver makes the grab. Tackle made at the 26. Good enough for a first down. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play brings up second down. Try the ground game here with the running back. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance in a really nice game. Got a lane. Can he get in? He'll be muscled out of bounds very close to the goal line. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback, he told us about the receivers, and how they're going to throw the football. Man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. The Raging Cajuns trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All 11 guys coming together. They stood firm. The result is a short loss for the offense. Nice job. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Good job by the offensive line to get some positive yards, but not quite into the end zone. Now we're going to have a third and goal. Getting closer, but now it's third down. Can they punch it in from the two? Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Moves to his left now, escaping the pocket. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Louisiana. 
So a long, methodical scoring drive, great execution, and championship pressure, Kirk. Man, this is the biggest stage that you can play on. You're in the national championship, and drives like that are going to wear down the opponent physically and mentally. This wasn't an accident. They were very intentional in how they worked their way down the field, and it pays off in the end. 14. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 12. That's poor field position to start the drive. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. This offense scores the defense with a lightning strike, a one-play touchdown in the last possession. Let's see if they can duplicate that magic here. In the clear at the 25. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. The Tigers will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. The old pin and pull there to the left side. Great blocking on the left side, able to create a great push. Nice crease, and the back found that with the vision and picks up some big yards for that first down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands... Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. And it's complete downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. And the Tigers come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Caught over the middle, it's Brown. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Back to throw again. It's an outbound, the catch made, and he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. And the game just good enough for a first down. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannibal. That's another huge gain for this guy. And I'll tell you what they're doing a good job of is moving him around. He's not aligning just in one spot where the defense has an idea of where he is to try to take him out of the game. They've moved him around, given him a chance to get some one-on-one -on -one matchups. Boy, is he taking advantage of that here in the first half of the national title. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. He flips it to the back across the middle. And they get him down after the completion. They're able to get a short gain to make this third down a little bit more manageable. But it is third and long. So this offensive line's got to be ready, do a good job of communicating, and pick up any potential blitzes here on third and long. Trying to create outside the pocket now. He's got a lane. Can he make the end zone? Touchdown, Tigers! Still no answer for this offense. Folks, we hope you're enjoying this. The national championship game is all tied up. Buckle up now for the finish. Man, this is everything you can hope for on this biggest stage in the national championship. Both these teams bringing their A game. I can't wait to sit back and see who wins it. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. And here's the return from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And Louisiana's offense retakes the field now. We'd expect a prudent decision here backed up near their own end zone. Just run the clock out and get to halftime. First down, looking to throw the ball. He's moving out of the pocket now. Gets some space around the 30. They finally get him down, but that is a huge play. Quarterback doing it with his legs. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. One play already to the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. He lets it go on the move. He pulls it in for a big game. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. On first and ten, looking to throw. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Boy, that was beautiful. Man, this defensive back, he's putting on a clinic today on how to defend against the deep ball and man coverage without committing a penalty. I'm sure the secondary coach is very proud of that execution. Finding some room with the 25. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play.
So with only a few seconds left in the half, out comes the field goal unit. Knocks that one right down the middle. And those three points will finish off the first half and take us to halftime. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? Everything on the line. The eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. And it's pretty clear the defensive game plan through 30 minutes has been just try to hang on and hope for the best against these electrifying quarterbacks. Whether it's throwing or running, they've dictated how this game has gone and maybe made those defensive coordinators question their career choices. It's going to be fascinating to see which defense cracks the code. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk of the booth. Fellas, hard to believe we're only one half away from crowning a national champion. They bring him down, but a solid game there on first down. Looks to be just inches short of the mark. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the handoff again. Looks like Clemson will have the first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Bringing pressure. He's going to take off. Breaks loose at the 40. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. I'm going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. He'll switch it up, looking to throw. And he finds the running back in the flat. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. Now the offense facing a third and long in their own 41. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Oh, the sack is made there by the freshman. I thought the strong safety did a really good job of disguising the blitz, waiting to the last possible moment, and then the snap of the ball catching the offensive line off guard. Nobody saw him. He gets home free and comes up with a sack. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. Here comes the Louisiana offense back on the field. Settled for a field goal last time out. Can they open things up on this possession? And the running back takes the handoff. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Important second down play coming up. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And tackled after a small pickup there. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Boy, Chris, you cannot overstate how big of a conversion this was to be able to pick this up on the ground. Yeah, the offense still has the lead, but you can just feel the defense having all the momentum with the points they've been able to compile. And that run right there picks up a first down and can kind of settle things down a bit. Second down play coming up for this offense. From the gun, he looks for an open man. And he's got it. That's a big game deep into plus territory. They'll spot it near the 30. You know, you roll the dice here as a defense when you play man-to-man. -man. The thing is, you've got to get pressure on the quarterback. If you don't, he's got time, and now he can look at that defense and figure out where is his best one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he makes a big play there. Catch made on the right side. 
out of bounds, but not before a big game. This offense is ripping the defense apart today. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route with him. And he powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Ragin' Cajuns. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Fresh set it down to the offense. First down. Here's a handoff on a counter. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. That's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. The sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Urgency now for the offense. They'd hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Third down play here out of the shotgun. Scrambling, now he'll make the throw. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch, does get the foot back. Boy, the defense missed an opportunity to here, put a lot of pressure on this offense. They allow them to convert. They could have got them to fourth down with the lead that they have. Boy, this could have been a knockout punch. Off the RPO, caught to the right. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. This comes on offense moving quickly down the field. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. Whiteout's now clustered. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. He's got some room and some blockers here. He's at the 50. It's a big return off the INT. They steal their offensive possession. Just a great job of anticipating that and coming up with a big interception by this defense. Because they have this lead, they've really forced this offense to become one-dimensional. They're expecting the ball to be into the air. The defensive backs have their eyes on the ball, and they're able to capitalize with a big pick here in the national title. Getting set. Here's second down. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. On the run here, taking a deep shot. Receiver makes the grab inside the 15. The game moves the football to the six yard line. It'll be first down and goal. First and goal for the offense. On the ground, it's Davis. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Louisiana. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just leading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. And the PAT puts him up 17 now. And it's Louisiana on top, Kirk. We're just one quarter away from crowning a national championship. Let's check out the game summary so far. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turner looking to create better field position. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Okay, the Clemson offense heads back out onto the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. Caught near the sticks. It's Dixon. 
They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. The Tigers looking to use the up-tempo offense here. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Grab behind the line. It's Dixon. A big hit by the linebacker, able to knock him down. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead. Just sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Quick throw, testing the middle. And he pulls in the catch. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Well, he continues to have time to throw the football, and he makes this defense pay for it. Now, they realize coming into this game, they had to take away his ability to throw the football downfield. But it's the receivers and their plays after the catch that's really given them a hard time. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. The completion makes it second down. Looking to throw again. Let's it go quickly. Makes the catch downfield. They make the tackle. That's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 34. That's another accurate throw by this quarterback. And Chris, when we did our prep to get ready for the national championship, we all knew that this quarterback potentially... He's picked for a third time tonight. They get him down after a short return. But the interception gets the football back to the offense at the 36. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. Five-yard game, so it's second and five. Well, how fitting for him to get another nice carry here because it's been that kind of game in the national title. We knew coming in that he was going to be showcased. I didn't think he would have this kind of performance on this big of a stage, but he has, and a big reason why they're gonna win this national title. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented. It shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Running out of time in the pocket. And he'll just throw it away now. Couldn't make anything happen. And that's now going to bring up fourth down. Chris, I just don't know about this call. I like the aggressive approach. But at this point, late in the game, playing with the lead, third down and long, maybe you run the ball. You know, work that clock. Continue to think about the big picture. Now you're facing fourth down and long. And I think you got to punt it away and hope the defense can secure a victory. And the powerful Clemson offense is back out there. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. He'll take a deep shot here. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Touchdown, Clemson. No chance to catch it. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And they make the recovery in the onside kick. The offense keeps it for another possession. Hey, you're down a couple scores. This is an outstanding call to try to get this football back. That's the first step in coming back. Now, let's try to steal a score here and see if you can do it all over again. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Fires it to the wideout. It's caught downfield. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. That completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. Tackle made after the completion. They'll hold it to the line here with the clock running. Second down, we're going to throw it. 
The sure hands. It's Moore. And he's tackled after the catch. The clock is still running up to hurry up here, but it's a crucial third down. And he drops back in the gun. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game. But they're doing the right things, managing the clock, picking up good yards, and getting out of bounds. Makes the grab. Can he get there? And he's brought down after a big first down gain. It's second and short. Maybe an opportunity, Kirk, to take a shot here. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Back in motion now. Looking for six. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, they had to have the score, but now Kirk, national championship on the line. They got to get the ball back and score again. You love to see the fight in this team. They're not giving up. They know what's at stake. They're trying to win this national championship, and when that score, they've got a shot. But now, really, it comes down to catching a break on the onside kick. The ball has to bounce right, and somehow you've got to recover it to give yourself a shot. Here comes the Raging Cajuns offense back on the field. Can they play key boy here to protect this lead in the final two minutes? First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fine time, moving to his left. Receiver left alone, wide open downfield. After that huge play, this offense is now in scoring position. They move into the red zone quickly. Boy, Chris, you wonder what the next play will be for this offensive coordinator. Anytime you hit a big play like that, you get into the red zone, there's a tendency to want to go after the jugular. Use that momentum to your advantage. Let's see what they call right here. Now it's second down here. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. First and goal. They play this right, but they pretty much put the game on ice. And that'll do it. We have a national champion. With the last team standing at the top of the mountain, Kirk, national champion. Well, it's been so much fun to watch this team play all year long. They've had some challenging moments. They've been able to overcome them. And how fitting, a close game in the national championship. They come through one more time. As you say, they hold the trophy. They are the national champions of the year. Well, that's going to do it for us and wrap up another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Bauer. This has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. They are official. Your kings of college football and national champions, the Louisiana Raging Cajuns.